Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be painting a bright pink flamingo. So let's do it. Mama? Yeah. I think all the uh, mama and dada and uh, dada and Ollie. Yeah. Eh, go paint them. Yeah. Eh, do. And paint them. Okay. Huh? Okay, so today we are going to be painting a really fun, bright flamingo piece. And I was kind of inspired by the geometric shape of my last piece of the cloudy sky. So that we're going to be doing something similar in shape, um, but it's going to be super bright and fun. So first I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches Cold Press watercolor paper, my Winsor Newton Professional watercolors in my palette. I have my Princeton Snap Brushes in a size 12 and a size 6. I also have a pencil and an eraser, water, paper towel, and we're ready to go. Um, I've already taped it down with just cheap painter's tape from the dollar store, but you don't have to do that. You could just draw out a diamond shape if you prefer. Um, doesn't really matter, but I just, I don't even really know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna kinda just wing it as we go, but we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> okay, so. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw our flamingo inside and I kind of want it to come outside the tape, the head a bit. So we're going to have to peel back some of the tape in a bit. Um, but let's just try and draw this bird first. Okay, so I'm going to start with the head, which is going to go over the tape here so I know where to kind of cut it. And just like a little, hmm, I wonder if I should do it taller. Actually, let's do it up here. We're going to see how this goes. Okay, actually let's start with some shapes that might be easier just for us to draw this bird. Let's start with a little circle up here, okay? And from this little circle, you're gonna come down here to this little beak, and you're gonna do an angle coming down. Try and draw as light as you can too, okay? You're gonna come back up like so. And you can just connect that circle. And then from the top of the head, you're just gonna come down and around. You're gonna do this curvy neck. Let's see. this kind of like a backwards or no it's kind of like an s shape and you can come back in here and then we're gonna do just kind of an outline of the body wings part just like this okay so as light as you can so you can erase these lines like that I feel like that head should be a bit bigger, maybe. Yeah. Let's try and make this a bit bigger. I'm going to do this circle a little bit bigger. Okay. Bring it down. And when I'm looking at reference photos, I'll show you the reference photo that I'm using here and I'll post it in the description. But I try and look at where does the beak hit the part on the neck? Where was the eye? Like, so the eye is kind of parallel to this curve here. Um, and I just kind of look in comparison to parts of the body. So I saw that the beak needed to come down further. So the neck, the head needed to be bigger. That makes sense. So I want the beak to hit kind of like around here. So we need to make sure it kind of goes down like that. like so, okay? So now I'm just gonna erase some lines that I don't need. And make some of the lines lighter. Okay, and as for the part that's going over the tape, I'm just gonna take my scissors here and I'm gonna kinda cut where that line is 
lift up the tape a little. Okay. Like that. Okay. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. I just haven't thought of it. I'm actually filming this right in the morning because I, I like punishing myself when my brain doesn't work the best. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, and I'm just gonna go over the head part again. Let's just move this tape up like that, like that. Okay, we don't need that part. Like so. Like that. And then the body's gonna come up and around here. Okay, so again, just erasing any parts that are too dark, that we don't need. And we can start painting our friend. So, okay. So let's do where the eye is. So remember the eye is kind of parallel to this little part in the neck right in the middle. So I'm just gonna draw a small circle. And then the B comes right up around the eye, goes up here, comes down like that. And then there's gonna be this line here. And then this whole part here is black. There we go. Okay. So now we can start painting our flamingo. So I am going to be using a bright pink for this. So I have this um, opera rose. So I'm just gonna start throwing some on my palette here. Actually, I think I'm gonna use my size 12 just so I can cover more ground. I think I might mix it a little bit with my permanent rose just to make it a bit of a darker pink. And I'm gonna just take a little bit off and I'm just gonna go over with a, not a light wash, but a medium wash. Actually, we should do a light wash first. So I'll water this down in a second. Starting off with a light wash. Oops. So I'm just taking some of that pigment off my brush in my water jar. Like this. I think my tape needs to be up a little. There we go. There we go. Light wash. And I didn't. I'm gonna make it sharp there, so I'm not taking the tape up there. I just want the head to kind of be peeking out of the diamond. Like so, you can cover back here. Make it a little bit lighter. So, like that. Okay, now we're gonna take more color. I'm actually gonna take more permanent rose than opera rose. And I'm just gonna start putting more color underneath here where there would be more of a shadow. Okay, so we want the top of the head over here there to be kind of like a, a highlight up that way. So we're just dropping in some more color. I'm actually gonna wash off my brush dry it and I'm just gonna take up some color at the top here to get more of a highlight. And if it starts drying, just go over it with water so you can keep it nice and wet. I'm gonna grab a bit more permanent rose because it's a darker pink. You can even grab a bit of red if you have red. Okay, a little bit at the front of the eyes. And I'm just trying to like dab so it's not like super smooth. I want there to be a bit of texture in there. Again, I'm gonna wash off my brush, dry off my brush, and just kind of dab to get a bit of texture 
just moving it around a bit. And you can even grab a bit of purple. I'm gonna grab some mauve, or actually I think I have magenta here. And I might throw a little bit of that in the shadowy parts. Oopsie. So right under the neck here, over this way, like that. Really letting it do its thing. And then I'm gonna take some of that mauveish color and I'm gonna start doing kind of feathery patterns. So just little dashes here. Then I can take some bright pink, do more. And we'll do more detail on the feathers and stuff once it's dry. We're just doing kind of the initial wet on wet layer. Grab some magenta here. Just any kind of pinks and purples that you have. You can even throw a little bit of blue in there if you like. And I'd say we'd make it a bit darker underneath. You can even wash off your brush, dry it, and then just kind of take up some color, just drop in some fresh water, and that will kind of bring a little bit of texture in there too. Okay, and then let's let that dry, and then we will work on the next part. Okay, so now that it's dry, let's do the beak. So for the white part of the beak, we're gonna have it tinted a little bit of blue. So I'm just gonna grab this like cerulean blue water it down just very very lightly really light wash because we want it to be white but with a tint of blue like that and we also want to make it wet because we're going to have a little bit of pink bleeding into it okay so a little bit more blue over on the underside of the beak right here okay and then we're going to grab some pink so i'm just going to grab, grab some upper rose a bit of permanent rose and i'm just gonna oops a bit more water let it bleed a bit into that white part like that okay and then I'm going to take some black and I'm going to let that bleed into it a little bit too, I'm trying to pull the color away from the pink. If you lift up your brush towards the pink, you're going to get a little bit of a blend right in the pink. Try and pull your brush strokes away from the pink so the black ends up in the little tip of the beak, if that makes sense. Okay, because the black is going to start to take over that beak part a bit. I'm just going to wash and dry off my brush. Push that black a bit. You want a bit of a blend or a bleed, but not too, too much. So I'm just going to grab a bit more pink, push it towards the black so you get more pink in there. Like that. Okay. And then the eye is kind of yellow. So I'm just going to grab some cadmium yellow. that okay and then we will do a bit more detail once that part dries um, right now I say let's do the feathers so I'm gonna grab a bit more of I'm gonna grab a bit of blue too so cerulean blue and mix it with a bit of that purple and I'm just gonna start doing some lines like their feathers okay blue for the underneath so it's more of like a shadow and then I'm going to start moving up to pink like 
We might even grab a bit of white ink too. Okay, and then we're just doing kind of like these almost V shapes for these feathers. You can really do it however you want. You don't have to do it like this. You can make it a bit more abstract. We're just kind of doing, I'm gonna let some of those colors bleed. Get a bit more pink. Make some parts darker. Dropping it into that wet paint. Maybe mixing with a bit of purple. I think I'm gonna take some of my bleed proof white. Let's see. So it's by Dr. PH Martins. It's bleed proof white ink. I'm just gonna throw some white on top of that, those wet little areas. So it bleeds a little like that. Like that. I might even, no, that's good. Okay. So now we're gonna let that dry. Actually, let's get a bit more darkness under here. There we go, that's good. Okay, we're gonna let all of that dry and then we will come right back. Okay, so now that that's dry, we're actually gonna fill in this background with a light blue. So I'm just gonna take some cerulean blue here, a light wash, and we're just gonna fill in this background with a very, very light blue. Just carefully going around the flamingo as best you can. So a lot of people ask me what size I usually paint on. And honestly, I don't really cut these down to size because I don't frame my work. They all kind of end up in a pile or if I do use them, I usually scan them and do something else with them. Um, and also I work on smaller paper because I need to fit it into frame while I'm filming. But you could definitely do this on a larger scale. I think this is like seven by eight or something. It's like almost a square, but you can definitely do this on bigger paper and take into consideration um, cutting it to size if you wanna frame it. But I don't do that simply because I don't really frame these. I have too many paintings. <laughs> And I just, just don't. Okay. Try not to go on the flamingo too much. I'm really enjoying how bright this is. I feel like we need a little bit of brightness in our lives. Gonna move the tape back so I can get that nice crisp edge. And again, if you don't use tape, just try and go around your edges as straight as you can, or you can use a ruler, I don't know. Whatever works best for you. Okay. Okay, so just a nice light wash, just like that. Okay, now we're just gonna do a little bit of the detail on the face. Um, I'm just gonna grab a bit of black, very little bit of black, and do the dot in the eye. Like that. Grab a bit more black. And I'm actually gonna darken this beak up a little bit, just at the tip. And then I'm gonna bring a line up, like that. And then there's another line there. It's a bit too thick. Oops. <laughs> I couldn't.
could just use a smaller brush too, that would make sense. I have a size two, no, one, minus two, I don't know. My hand's super shaky because it's morning. There we go. There. And then do a little bit of black around the eye like that. Okay. So let's wait for that background part to dry and then we're gonna do something fun. Okay, so now we're gonna take off the tape. See that nice crisp line? One of my favorite things to do. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna do some fun palm leaves. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch up my water here. Okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna mix kind of like a turquoisey color. So I'm just gonna take whatever green I have in here and then take some blue like that. Okay, so green and blue. And I'm just going to do like palm leaves. So I'm gonna start with the stem coming out of that triangle and then from the stem I'm going to do long palm leaves so you're just doing light pressure heavy pressure drag it out light pressure okay and you're going to keep doing that around the side so light pressure heavy pressure light pressure same on the other side You can always turn it around if it's easier to. Okay, we're gonna go behind that flamingo. So like the start of it. And then come out the other side. Like that. And just do the start of a bunch here. Maybe one coming like that. Like that. And you can always go back in with a bit more darkness towards the stem some of these have already dried but that's okay like that and then we're going to do another one i might make it a bit more blue oops grab a bit more green i'm going to have one coming this way i'm just going to turn my paper so i'm not getting my hand in that palm leaf and i'm just going to start by the stem Okay, I'm gonna do it a bit smaller. Grab a bit more. You can always grab a bit more pigment, put it at the base. Gotta love when you drop your brush, eh? <laughs> it happens to the best of us. It's all good. Go behind here. Like that. There you go. And then 
to finish this whole thing off, what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab some gold watercolor and I'm going to outline the, oh my goodness, my brain, the diamond. <laughs> There we go. So I'm just gonna wet up my gold paint first to start. I got this from someone for free. I forget what brand, I don't even know what brand it is, but we're just going with it. So any gold watercolor would work. And we're just gonna go around that diamond. The best you can. Try and go in between those leaves. As best you can. And there you go. There is your super fun, bright, summery flamingo project. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for oh. even more. Have a great day, guys. Oh.